I don't think we have a current active player out in the NHL right now. And so I, I think to, for that to be better for the queer community, if there, if there was a player, uh, if they were brave enough to come out, I, I, I feel that that would be accepted by the mainstream American and, uh, and Canadian media, just as the media seems to have been very accepting of Carl Nassib. And that would just give young players like some, something to look forward to. My name is Rick Klein. I am a 41-year-old school psychologist living in Chicago, Illinois, and a lifelong hockey and Blackhawks fan. How did Rick get into hockey? I played hockey when I was a kid. My dad was my coach. Uh, I played, I want to say, around second grade, third grade, and then uh, up, up through middle school. And then when I hit high school, I stopped playing. Uh, I just felt like my skills weren't progressing uh, as well as I would have liked them to. And I decided to do some other sports, but I still love it. I always have loved it and I've loved going to the old Chicago stadium when I was a kid. And now we go to the United Center um, as season ticket holder for the Chicago Blackhawks and have been since 2008, I want to say. And uh, I've just loved going to hockey and following it uh, and following the, the playoffs whenever we're not in the playoffs. That old barn was super cool. And I remember they used to have the noise meter and it would just like shake the building. It was really neat. Oh, the noise meter. I remember as a kid, like the, the cloud of smoke, cigarette smoke in the old, the old stadium, which of course you can't smoke indoors in Illinois anymore, but just seeing that and having to deal with that during intermission and, 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 uh, and my, my parents not, not enjoying that, but, uh, but uh, that, that was a lot of fun. That was, that was a, a whole lot of fun. And then in college, I, I got to watch my alma mater uh, games all the time. I went to Boston College, so I got the pleasure of seeing a championship uh, in 2001 when I was a junior in college. Uh, I didn't get to go to the game because it was during the Passover holiday, but, the, uh, but just, I got to go to every single Friday night home game in college, and that was, that was a huge thrill. Super cool. What do you love about hockey? Oh, I love... Um, well, I do love the fights. Uh, the, 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 those parts are fun, but I love uh, teamwork. I love seeing uh, the teams come together and play to get the job done and see how that progresses over, over a whole season. Um, I enjoy the, uh, just like the, well, the physicality of it in terms of the training, in terms of seeing how hard the players work to accomplish their goals as a team and um, hearing about how they train, um, how hard they train and, how, how it all comes together. Based off your intersection of identities, how could hockey be better for you? And also how could it be better for the queer community as a whole? Um, I think if, you know, we just had uh, Carl Nassib uh, come out as the only active uh, American football player uh, to be out. And I don't think we have a current active player out in the NHL right now. And so I, I think, to, for that to be better for the queer community, if there if there was a player, uh, if they were brave enough to come out, I, I I feel that that would be accepted by the mainstream American and uh, and Canadian media, just as the media seems to have been very accepting of Carl Nassib, and that would just give young players like some something to look forward to. And you know, I, I didn't know I, I didn't know I was gay until probably about high school or college. But as as a young hockey player, there of course was not a role model like that. You know, we have people like Curtis Gabriel putting positive messages out there for the league and for hockey players, but just not a current player who's out. I think that would make hockey better for the queer community. And knowing that there aren't any players out at the top level uh, and that that work still needs to be done. What keeps you in hockey? The tradition, just the being a Chicago fan, we're one of the original six teams and seeing an original six team in the Stanley Cup finals right now, like that, I, I, I love that stuff. I love the tradition. I love the traditions of going to the games, knowing that I did it as a kid, I have season tickets with my brother um, and we still like to go together and keeping those things alive, like keeping the, the, the traditions alive. Um, just seeing a game in person is, is the best. Like I, I love being able to do that and that's what keeps me going, keeps me in, in hockey. What gives you hope for queer people in the sport moving forward? 
what gives me hope for queer people moving forward would be players like Curtis Gabriel uh, showing that, yes, I can be an ally. Uh, uh, yes, some things that are happening are wrong. Some things need to be fixed. And just to have that in place really, it, it, it's really uplifting and to have, have people like that have role models like that.